if you'd like to see how I made these beautiful teal coasters stick around the video is coming right up Okay, so the first layer has cured. Oops, these in there. I don't need them falling in there. And I didn't like my glitter was kind of uneven. So I just did another layer of the same. I just redid exactly what I did uh, before with the glitter. But I'm going to make like a little bit of a Milky Way design for the second layer. So I saved a little bit of epoxy here and I'm going to use the Lorez Angel White epoxy paste and I'm just going to give it a stir here and then I'm going to like wipe it all off. You don't need a lot because I'm going to add a little bit of some shimmery powder to it. So see that? I just wiped it all off. Stirred it, wiped it. I just want it looking like a little milky. actually a little too opaque I think I should have used less but I'll just be drizzling so I'm going to add a couple drops of alcohol in this just so that it will thin out so that it can drizzle and it will also help the um, the uh, Swirl effect too. And I am putting in a little bit of this mica. This is from Lorez also. It is actually called Milky Way. And it's got like um, 
a white with a green shift to it. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit in it. Ooh, don't breathe. It's like um, the sun catcher. Super, super duper fine mica. So the Angel White does not have any sort of shimmer in it at all. So you can always add stuff to it if you want a little bit of a shimmer. Okay, so I'm just going to drizzle and then I'll swirl a little bit with um, a silicone stick and then we'll leave it to cure. So. Uh, which way should I do it? Let's squeeze this. How thin is this? I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit more, a little more alcohol. I'm just going to do some quick swirls. Whoa. Just drizzles. Okay. And then I'm going to take a silicone brush. Actually, first I'm going to warm it up just a little bit. So, uh, I am just swirling it around a bit. No real pattern, just swirl. Because it's going to cure and then I'm going to do something else to it. Just so that it looks a little, well, Milky Way-ish. I 
and I'm using a silicone brush so that I don't ruin the side of my mold. Like I have a dried base already cured, so I could use a skewer or whatever, but just in case I hit the side of the mold, I didn't want to ruin it. All right, and then you just take a little alcohol wipe and you got a clean thing. All right, so I'm gonna take my heat gun again. This is on a very low setting, so it's not full heat. A little disclaimer I would normally have my respirator on but right now I am cleaning it so uh, don't jump on my ass about it cuz yeah I'm talking to you mom cuz right now it's getting cleaned All right, so I'm just gonna let these sit again and cure. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of a <coughs> alcohol spritz. Not too worried about the bubbles right at this point, because like I said, we're gonna do another layer. Okay. So, this is a little close up of them. And then I will come, come back, back shortly. See you then. Okay, guys, time for the next layer. Um, I just put some clear in here and I am going I got a little bit more of the glitter I'm not sure what design I'm gonna do I got a little bit of the Milky Way with the sparkle and then I've got um, peacock dance let me show you these colors Hang on one second here. Alright, so this is Peacock Dance from Lorez. Look at that. So pretty. It is just a gorgeous, deep, deep, deep teal oh gorgeous color uh, and then this is the Milky Way um, the peacock dance is a pigment paste come on focus it's a pigment paste the Milky Way is a 
mica powder. Come on. It's from the Glitz and Glam series. And it's got a green shift. And it is right here. Both from La Rez. Uh, again, I have a coupon code for Laura's Art Corner. She is the U.S. stockist for Lorez. And then this is more of the Ursula glitter. It's a color shift, teal, green, blue. And that is Ursula 2.0 from Franz Glitter and More. All right, so I am just going to do some designing and some swirling. I will put you on time lapse and I'll bring you back for a close up. I am using liquid stone uh, for this last layer from KS Resin. Uh, it's very thick and it tends to uh, stay where you put it. So, uh, I'll be back shortly.
back. I'm done with my swirling. Um, so I did not mention this before, but I ended up putting some drops of the Pinata Blanco Blanco uh, alcohol ink because the colors were covering up a lot of the white swirls that I did underneath but because I used clear and some transparent colors you can see into the coaster so it looks pretty cool hopefully they dry good and I will come back for the unmolding so I will probably Spritz them with more alcohol on top. Not too much though, because I don't want it to disrupt the white alcohol ink, because alcohol will activate alcohol. So when you are doing alcohol inks into your coaster, keep that in mind for your bubble popping. Um, I mean, uh, it just reactivates. <clears throat> So I may use my heat gun on low if more bubbles pop up, but, uh, yeah. So I think they look, I don't know if I can get, when they're dry and out of the mold, you'll be able to see it better, but there is tons of depth in there. So I will bring you back when it's time to unmold. See you in a few minutes. Hi guys. It is time for the unmolding. It's hard to do. Let me back it up a little bit. how these turned out. I was nervous. I didn't think you'd be able to see the glitter through it because I thought my these are the sides. So the diamond edge there's little pieces here that I just take a little nail file and file off. <clears throat> I'm sure they're all going to look the same, hopefully. There really is lots of layers. I'm glad I did the three layers on this because you really can tell. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but in real life you can see every one of the layers. Lots of depth. My art room was pretty cold last night because the air is on. So I wasn't sure how these were going to cure up. I thought I'd come down and they'd still be soft, but because normally KS resin likes warmth. See like that area right there? You can like, it's almost like you can reach in it. And then this one, I already unmolded because I had to check to see if it was cured good enough. Okay. 
Can you see the depth in there? I don't know if you can or not. Did I see a fingerprint? Oh, just oil. All right. So there they are, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, I will be doing a subscriber giveaway when I get to 6,000. So, uh... Yeah. So, I will see you on the next video, guys. Bye.